287. Go ahead and start off old radio night there, uh, <clears throat> 987. I already started recording it there. And uh, you boy, you was right on time, 8 o'clock, 12 16, 2017 there. Okay. Where'd you go? I'm still here, man. Still here. If somebody wanted to break in there. I'll let the uh, slave driver go this time uh, first. Alright, this old 755 slave driver. I'm running a Galaxy 7 base with a PAL 310 centimeters and an Android 99 on a 60 foot tower. 410, sounding good over here. Tail and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right here, 987, you want to go ahead, hey, uh, Ben, you got that uh, short time recorder. Good and clean and clear, not muffled or nothing there, 10 4. What do you think, the crazy man? I got a half minute, he went the wrong radio. Roger. <laughs> Alright, there, uh, so he was uh, coming in good over here, so anyway, I could hear him pretty good. Talking on there, crazy man. I feel for Two, three. Are you out there? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get on mine there. <clears throat> got a Johnson Messenger 250, 50th anniversary. I got a couple. I had about three of these radios. One of them white dog give me, and I give it to a uh, a Night Ranger, and uh, then he so he could uh, get it on frequency. And I got two of these that work. I'm pretty sure. This one here may have a little problems here and there, but it's got the uh, amplified desk mic like uh, Turner Plus 3. It's powered by the radio itself, which I don't know why all radios aren't like that, but uh, they could be. And it uh, doesn't need a battery. It's got the uh, 
control underneath you stick a little screwdriver through the hole and turn it up so anyway all right well that's what I'm doing and I'm uh, reading that mail What now, sir? I said, what kind of antenna you say you're working with? <clears throat> I got a, uh, right now, I'm running a shock wave down about 100 feet to the bottom there, Roger. Yeah, you got the feedback again. Oh, shit. Hey, hello. I see it. As long as I'm right there, it's not that bad. Is it still in there? No, it went away. Smack him old girl sometimes. Yeah, something to do with this mic. I don't know what it is. I got to put a ground on this thing. I reckon there. Yeah, I got a, a a flat side up there about 80 feet, but the rotor won't work all of a sudden. Anyway, hang on. Yeah, All right, right there's your out right there's the flat side there, pointed away from me, Roger. Could you hear me at all? Yeah, tell Paul, I got a good copy on you. Roger, Roger. Okay, I know it dropped down. All right, well, I'll be back out. I want to kind of do that for uh, 987, getting me on that recording. I asked the beams right there, 987. Y'all cording? Uh, cording. I like it when y'all cording. Yeah, cording everything there. It's a cording to the cording there, 987. That's the uh, ground plane. Yeah, come on there, uh, 15-4. Go back to your flat side. Let me hear it. I'm on the flat side now, but I'm not pointed at you there. I went on the flat side just now, Roger. Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't hear you. But, uh, you sounded pretty good for not being pointed this way. Yeah, 410, yeah. I'm pointed. I don't know which kind of way. Makes me kind of upset there. I didn't test that daggum uh, a, uh, rotor when I had the thing on the ground, but I didn't think about it, but it took a little bit of a hit whenever that thing hit the ground, but I didn't think it'd bother it, but anyway, I'll get it right. Get that right, right. This broadcasting is, uh, whichever way you got to turn, I hear you flying on my flat side. Roger, roger. All right, well, I went back to the vertical there. Yeah, hello. Yeah, we just went to the vertical, too. We, we on the vertical now, pointed somewhere in your neighborhood. Uh, Roger. Well, you're doing a great job there, 15-4. All right. Well, uh, let me get off there and r stop running my mouth there, and I'll uh, I'll be listening for you. If you want to tell us what kind of radio, or maybe you don't. I don't know. You know, uh, we got our Magnum S9. That's what we're talking on with uh, Panama. Uh, 451. Uh, new mic. That's what we're talking on. And we got a set of Gizmachi. I hear you. Yeah, I like those. Uh, I like those there. I, I like that mic. You know, I like that mic. I think it's made good. That Palomar mic. They gives you a couple, a couple of options. Uh, they got one jumper in there that you can uh, place a jump on uh, on the fans, and it gives you a little bit of bass. And that's uh, that's what we're talking on there. And then they got this little uh, condenser mic inside. So. That needs power, so it's running on uh, one double-A battery there, right? Yeah, Roger. Well, when you get ready to do that jumper, you go ahead and let me know, and then I'll do mine. I already did it. It's on there now. We got two of them, and both, both of them are jumpers. Oh, okay. It ain't no big deal to do it. No, just the regular jumpers that you can find on any computer, little small jumpers. Uh, you just put it over two pens. And it's and you can really tell the difference. Well, I can, uh, I, I, and from what I can hear, uh, it, it does make a difference. Uh, but but that's what we did, and there's also a, a volume control in there too that you can turn up a little bit. Roger. Okay. 
Yeah, I had. I just wanted mine to. Uh, you know, I wanted to give kind of let it season a little bit there, and I was going to go at it. You know, and uh, but I sure appreciate you having one, and you already did it. That way, I know it won't blow up if I do it. Fifteen four nine eight seven. It's all on at you. One, two, three, are you out there? One, two, three, might have not have made it back. He's out there in Macedonia. Hi, man, drumstick. You go ahead and tell us what you're working with. Oh yeah. Drumstick 987's hollering at you. Alright, 987, you copy Drumstick? I got you, Drumstick. I'm all the way over here on John's Island. We're on a video. I can't hear him there, Roger. He couldn't, said he couldn't hear you there, uh, 987. Yeah, he said you were sounding good over there. He's got you on his video gate on John's Island. Crazy man, uh, you hear that, that, that uh, drumstick? I hear a drumstick, that's what everybody's saying, amen. Oh, amen. What is amen, but anyway. Amen, he's passed away, we just go, he go, 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 that one train out, the only second, we just went way out, and then he coming back. Oh, cowboy, I thought you were talking about drumstick. No, we were talking about cowboy. Oh. No drum ain't going nowhere. You can't keep on blaming them drum sticks. Oh. Yeah, old Robert was a good guy. He was a damn good guy. If Cowboy had all of the, of the radios that he ever owned, he could stand on them 
and touch the moon. Jumbo. Hey, um, yeah, he was a good person. Right, that's why he had one of those. He had to be picking up that moon right out of the space yeah, I bought one from him, not directly from him, but it was at someone had bought it, and then I bought it from them. And a box, you know, I used to run it in a, a truck I had a long time back. I still got it. That's my backup uh, box. I, I don't use it, uh, but I got it in case I, I want to run it, you know. Um, and the radio, <clears throat> I got it. It's It's got some little loose, some kind of connection in it. It'll talk sometimes. and. And then when you want it to, you, you can key a thousand times and it won't do anything, but it's just a bad, uh, a solder joint in one spot of the board, but, uh, you know, I still got it. It works real good, and it's got killer modulation on it. I got a lot of work done to that radio, <coughs> but uh, I'll get it one day. But uh, anyway, let's see, uh, what else there? I don't know. I don't think that's about all I ever bought from him. Well, I got so many projects that I just can't do. It's kind of like the place downtown. The restaurant is so good and it's so crowded, nobody goes there anymore. It's so crowded. I don't know. I'm talking about how you find that bad spot on that board. Which, both your fingers run over the top of the board, and you find out that it bites you, you know where it's at. Oh. When it bites you, you know where it's at. about Drifter? Drifter, did you make it back? Yeah, I just walked back in the room there. So did. Okay, um, yeah, I'm talking on my trusty, dusty Texas Ranger TR 696F with the side man. It's going all kinds of chains and lights in the meters. And, um, uh, got a D-104, well actually it's a double D-104, and I got a astroplane antenna, 50 foot in the air, and that's what I got tonight. Sounds good. I wanted to get, uh, tell you one thing there. Uh, <clears throat> on that radio you had the first one that I had seen with those slow changing lights in there I didn't even know they had anything like that and then I did a little research on them and the first ones I got I didn't realize that they were the fast changing ones and after I almost had an epileptic seizure uh, because of looking at them I took those out 44 we put them in his 2547 and uh, 987 eventually wound up with that, and somebody else has got it now. But uh, I put the slow changing ones in there like you did, and my Galaxy Saturn that according to uh, a, a 1961, it was his radio, but uh, I don't know how it could have been unless he made it from Galaxy, because that's who I got it from. But anyway, uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, you're the one that showed me them, and I appreciate it there, and I'm glad they're still working for you, or us. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I had this done. Uh, I sent the radio off to uh, some outfit down in Florida, because I wanted to have some uh, extra channels put on there, in between channels and stuff. And... Uh, I knew about the lights, and uh, I told him, I said, if he would, just change them lights in there, and that's been, oh, let me see, I 
10-4. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, it's been a while uh, since he, I put them in mind too there. That's when you had your man cave out in the outside there with the guitars and the video poker machines and, and all that. Not video poker machines, I don't But uh, you know what I'm saying? Those game machines you had and you walk in there, it looks like you went into a uh, side show at a circus there, Roger. Some uh, I don't I don't know. Let's see. Was there any aquariums in there? Crazy, and all of a sudden, I had to, uh, I had to 
And uh, so, yeah, I did that for a while, and then I finally got out of that. I still got some of the fish tanks in another storage building right next to the man cave. But um, that's something else I, you know, got into and got back out of. So, you know, they just, they just sit in there empty now. 410. should go nuclear there, uh, Drifter. so loaded down as thousand people uh, trying to you know come you know get him every day there but uh, but uh, anyway all right well uh, anyway I'm gonna get on the side and see uh, maybe that one two three is out there I don't know drifter I'm back out Crazy man, go do say something out there. Oh. Got it. Roger. Okay. Hey, 
Terminator 540 over here in a little place they call Monkey Quarters. Say hello. We got you a box over here, Mr. Street. Do I have a box over here? I got a couple of them. Why, you need one? No, you need a box up on the freezer. I got a little Monkey Quarters. <laughs> yeah, I'll Talking on the radio like you you got over there, the messenger, so wanted you to hear it. Oh wow, that thing sounds good, 21. That really does. It's got good mods, good carrier. Yeah, it's got the, uh, I've had it, <coughs> one of these, I've got two of them like this. I had another one and give it to uh, Night Ranger there. That's the one White Dog gave me, and uh, I could hear people. And it would transmit. I didn't put a free counter on it. It transmit somewhere, but they couldn't hear me. I think it would do it on every other channel. And uh, but I thought it might have need some alignment, you know. And he knows how to do that. I I could I know what to turn, but I don't have the stuff to check it with, you know. But anyway, I, uh, he um, said he wanted one. So anyway, but this one here, the reason I got it tonight is I wound up. <coughs> getting a uh, desk mic with it and this desk mic looks like a Turner plus three It's powered by the radio itself and uh, the difference in it is the uh, 
doesn't have the switch to cut it on and let it stay on and I don't like them on a Turner Plus 3 or their mics because whenever you lean forward it'll lock down on you and then you got if you forget it, it stays keyed up this one won't do that it doesn't have that switch on there and that's good but it does have a control underneath that you can turn your modulation up and down but anyway that's the that's uh that's what I'm using there okie dokie there Mr. T It's got about 110 volts on it. Yeah, I get too close to that. Well, well, I'll tell you what now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would, would light you up. Yeah, it only takes one capacitor to short out, and you got a death capacitor. And you know they uh, they go they they go bad, and then that's a direct short near the ground. So, and it'll throw it right in there. So, uh, yeah. But uh, this one hadn't bit me yet, but uh, I have had that exactly what you're talking about there on the brown in there, that uh, banana mic. It's got a metal grill on it, and once in a while it'll, it'll knock the crap out of me there, but uh, I know not to do it now. I, I like to get that thing and pretend like it's a electric uh, razor, uh, you know, like a Norelco and run it around on my, uh, my face. And then it, it'll, it'll hit a spot that might be a little raw or something, and then it'll, it'll latch on there. But uh, how, how's all the kitties doing over there? Oh man, they're doing good. They're all raised and came like normal. They're, they're doing good in school. I got three at school. They're all doing good in school. I got two at school. They're rambunctious. But you know, shoot, they're just young stir, But yeah, man. That's good, that's good. Well, I'm glad to hear it there. All right, well, I'm going to shut up there now. I'm good to hear you. You better go to the Walmart and get some paper bags. <laughs> well, I'm trying to grow a little bit of a beard to cover some of that ugly up. Crazy man, will that work? Yeah. Will that work? talking about growing a beard to cover up ugly. What do you say, not a uh, Mr. T? <laughs> yeah, he said that'll work too. Oh. Seven five five, you're not too chatty tonight. might have got overheated in there, crazy man. The drifter, he quit. Hot tub.
I had to go let Annie out. That was made by um, Antenna Specialist Company. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I, I wouldn't, well, I couldn't remember. 10 4, yeah. I think one time, they, the very, very, very first ones that they very first came out, they were called something else. Or something similar to that, but then Antenna Specialist Company uh, refined it and, uh, you know, but uh, I had one one time, I never put it up, and uh, it uh, was needed some work done to it, and I finally gave it away. I kept the control box for quite a while. I was going to make something with it, but then a guy on a CB forum one time said he needed one, so I sent it to him and gave it to him, but that's all I, all I know about them. They are good, you know, it's a good design, no, no rotor. That's what's so good. Yeah, my brother-in-law uh, had two of them. The one had a big set of points in it, and the other one that he got, the newer one that he got, he had uh, little micro points in them. And it had two different boxes, where the first one had the big one, the piece of points had to be. I'm guessing a couple inches long in there, and <laughs> yeah, the thing about the weak pot, the weak spot on those things <clears throat> was the the connections on the antenna. That's where the problems came from. A lot of corrosion got in there, you know, all those different connections up there, and so uh, that that uh, was always uh, a lot, of, you know. You had to know how to do things and, you know, put things together. Average person, that's a little too complicated. Possibly, you know, they if, if they can't tighten a bottle cap on a bottle, you know, they, they don't need to be trying to put something like that together. And then get it halfway loose and have it hooked up wrong wouldn't work halfway right. But uh, if you did get it right and you uh, kind of sealed everything up with some silicone or whatever, it did work for you for a good little while. thing that thing did is uh, where it matched and went together it used uh, the 75 ohm coax to go on, to go together you know to back and forth like a matching circuit there and then uh, you know the 52 ohm there coming down but it, it did use uh, some 75 ohm in there messing around up in there with that matching section kind of like a, uh, a one of those um, double antenna setups that you could use on your automobile that would have two sets of coaxes going to one set of coax and a lot of people make a mistake and use uh, two pieces of 52 ohm and then a T and then another 52 ohm you're supposed to use uh, two 75 ohm pieces and they got to be nine foot long or something like that there's a length and a measurement and all and uh, but the best is to buy the uh, already set up thing if you're not going to run a bunch of power. But if you are, then you got to build your own and do it right. Right? It'll never. You'll never get the SWR right. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. No, you're right about that. Uh, I Yeah, it'll it'll mess you up. I mean, 
<clears throat> I had something like that on a van one time, but it was front to back, and uh, we were going up to a shootout contest one time, and I was talking to somebody up ahead of me, and it was shooting to the back, and the people back below, uh, they kept flashing the lights and all, and they kept backing up, and they said, man, I finally pulled over, so you got to cut that thing off, man, you're burning up everything we got in here, and I was blasting them backwards. That's back when I had this stuff to where uh, I could go to the car wash and key and whistle in the mic and everybody got a free car wash. All the daggum nozzles jumped up out the holsters and started working. Oh shoot, wow. Now with the little bitty setup I got, which was little to what I used to have, I come down 176 and those new uh, <clears throat> LED street lights, I cut them on and off. <laughs> That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. That reminds me. Back when I was back home there, a friend of mine, old Fuller Bear, he gets in here every once in a while. He can talk to my friend down here. But uh, he used to take where he lived with downstairs and they had the apartment upstairs. That's why, you know, everybody said, well, why don't you get a bigger box over there? What They don't even know what I've got, you know. I learned a lesson about that a long time ago. Don't tell everybody what you got there. I remember big Little Biggie, I went up there one time and to his place, and I, didn't, I wasn't trying to put anything in the street what he had. And he had this antenna, man, it looked like a big giant airplane hanging, it's had it cranked down on this crank down tower. I think it was a 10 element. I don't know. But it's one of the biggest beams I ever saw after I saw that Super Laser 500 that a guy had one time. This is way bigger than that. I mean, it was huge. And I said, good God, look at that. And I said, and, uh, you know, so I got on the radio or something or something that said something to somebody and he was on there. He said, man, don't be telling those people what I got. And I, you know, I didn't mean anything by it, so I don't do that. But anyway, I don't want to tear up anybody around here. I had that problem on James Island, and, uh, you know, I did move from over there and sold the house, but I'm too old to move again, and I don't want to have to come in and out with these people and them be, you know, having pitchforks and fires and stuff were waiting on me, you know. Yeah, 10-4, yeah. 
Well, I mean, it's like uh, they said, well, you know, and uh, this and that. I said, well, uh, I mean, you you got one. Why wouldn't I? Why can't I buy one? Why is your money, you know, much so much greener than mine? I choose not to get more than what I got. I mean, I talk where, uh, you know, I, I wanted to and have done it. So I mean, you know, I don't. I'm not out there to try to outdo anybody. I just want to talk to the people that want to talk to me. All right. Well, there's somebody else getting there beeping. So let me stand by nine eight seven. Hey wizard, uh, good to hear you, man. Uh, same to you. I heard you said you're pushing new antenna out right there. Well, I'm not talking on it right now. I found out today, uh, actually yesterday, I guess, that uh, must be something wrong with the rotor. Whenever it uh, hit the ground, I didn't even think about it damaging the rotor. It didn't look like anything was wrong with it, but it must have jarred something loose. So. I got to let it down a little bit and uh, where I can get on a ladder and uh, pull that the rotor out of there. But it's no big deal. I got to, everything's still set up and hooked up to it. All I got to do is just uh, let it down there and uh, won't be like it was before, you know, putting all the, building the beam and putting it on there and uh, all that. It's not no big deal. But uh, yeah, I got a real good copy on you on there tonight there. And uh, let me see if, uh, Stand by and see if them other fellas uh, can hear. You still on your 1989 Mercury Marquis? Roger on the 1989 Mercury Marquis. Uh, just a little Mirage 88, and I got a little uh, 300 in here. I've got Motorola pulls inside of it, or whatever you want to call it. I ain't 100% sure. When we swing it out of Harleyville, I, uh, I had to confirm what was it yesterday morning said I'm in Orangeburg, swung all the way out to Central Arkansas. Uh, you on the, are you on the overpass on 995 or are you in your yard? Uh, I sit in the backyard with the driver. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, hey, uh, 987, you hear him? Do you hear the wizard? Wizard, go back to that 987 on Johns Island, see if he can hear you. How about a 987? That's 987 on Johns Island. 987 on Johns Island. We try, we try to get out of harder bill. I think, I think it's got something to do with all the elevation, all the elevation, because I'm trying to push through so many trees and stuff, and I can't get a clear shot to y'all. You hear him? Uh, Mr. T, can you hear him? Yeah, I got him over here in the corner, no doubt about it. I want to say good evening to you over there. Good evening there to you too, Mr. T. Yeah, sure. I turned my eyes, gave it up, and you got me up. <laughs> hey, that's why they call it the uh, uh, amateur radio. We can, we can have fun doing what we do and, and just go with it. I put this in my car, and I get out there on the interstate and ride, I got driving Virginia every once in a while, and, and I get tired of looking at people out there, I just sit there and keep a bike close to that door. Hey, boy, yeah, I ain't got one in the old mark yet. I was going to put one in there, but I get me a different antenna. I had one in my pickup, but I gave my pickup away and got me a 2003 Mercury Marquis, and, uh, I, I just gotta get the right antenna for it. Well, I took my mouth that I got with my antenna. I got a Wilson 2000 with a regular uh, mirror mount. You know, got two pieces to it and you put the little boat to it. I took the one back it up and I put me a flat piece of metal on the end of the rim. So the bolts are here and I'm going to be close the trunk. You can't see the bolts and it's coming out between the back and the trunk and the middle of it. And I got the antenna mount over the outside of that. I mean, it holds up perfectly. Oh, that man used to be her car. I bought her a new van, and uh, she kind of.
called at me, so I says, well, I'll figure out something else. I do have one, I have one sticking way up in the air, but I'm just putting the meter on it, it's just going to be so off that it wasn't even funny. Yeah, I think he talked about a foot and a half out of my head, didn't he? Yeah, two or four. Well, I'm either going to go with a Sur or a 5000 or a Wilson Willick, too. Uh, you know, magnet mount. I throw it right there in the trunk, and, and uh, it'll just take me a little while. You know, it's about 2,500 watts in the trunk for those two speakers, so I thought about it on there, it's just going to dance across the trunk. Yeah, I hear you. Sometimes I think if you run a little too much, it kind of screws up the paint somehow electrically. I don't know. I, I've seen a couple of them. It looks kind of weird after they've sat there a while. Uh, that's true, too. That's true. I, I, I'm not doing nothing with no out here way before he could have went to bed there. Alright, well I'm going to stand by that's at 45 out there. Uh, I don't know if that's if he goes about Larry but I don't think so. Okay, I'm gone. No, you got it wrong. Remember it's Gary, not Larry. Anyway, uh, 21. Yeah, I got a lot of fan noise in here. Um, am I readable? It's fine. Nice and clear. 
I mean, you know, I hear fans, but that's okay. Everybody's got to have fans. Hey, Tim Rogers, right on, man. Yeah, and uh, it seems like it's stable. I'm, I'm looking at it, it seems stable. Uh, I don't like the audio that much, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, so it's a regular night. I don't have the, I didn't, I didn't uh, fulfill your... Uh, I promised to get down to Pierce Simpson, but I did get out a 30-year-old amplifier, uh, amplifier and put it on a 20-year-old uh, radio, well, so that qualifies, come on. Yeah, 10-4, well, ain't nothing wrong with that audio. That's a good skip audio right there, you know, and uh, a lot of people want to sound like they're talking on the telephone or whatever, you know, but... Uh, the whole name of the game is get be at, get out there and get heard there. So uh, audio and, uh, and and high fidelity is real good and all like that. But uh, the ones you really hear out there that you can really hear, they're they really they're loud. Most of them are like overmodulated, really. But they they they're the ones that people hear. So I mean, you know, that's that's what I thought anyway. But anyway, it's sounding good. It's not overmodulated. And it's uh, and it's good and loud there. Okay, that's just on my radio. That's just what I hear. Hey, Roger, that. hey man, I appreciate your opinion. I'll go back and listen to it later. It'll be the first time I ever heard the big boomer um, operate uh, on a gate. But uh, yeah, man, uh, you know I know what you're talking about. But I, I fixed that problem with the uh, audio, man. I changed my phones and uh, to a different mic that. Seven's out there. Can you hear him? Yeah, I can hear uh, 987. I just couldn't hear the other guy you were talking to a, little, a couple minutes ago.
trying to talk for you, man. I'll tell you that, man. It's getting out and getting up. I got a copy on you over here, man. I think you're a little clearer than what you used to be, uh, than what the other rig provides for you. I don't know, but, uh, that's my opinion on that. Anyway, I'm glad I got a chance to get out of here on the radio night, man. I wasn't feeling that good a while ago. We went out to eat dinner and, uh, sounds when you key down but then you key down again that's pretty cool Somebody else out there, let me stand by. Hey, um, hey, before I go, uh, Prime Minister, you heard his key out there when he was on there, right? Probably so, years ago. I don't remember. It has to make people key up. Yeah, he'd get on there and hit when he'd go to key up, that would go. That's the one that you'd have the, uh, it'd go click, 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 bang, 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 and then it would have, uh, uh, shoot, what's the name of that thing, a Japanese uh, monster, Godzilla screaming. I hope you have to run the Godzilla screaming. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, man. Uh, but I know I've heard him uh, through the years, for definitely. Yeah, he's back on there again, I understand. I haven't heard him yet. I just heard of somebody had a little short video of him back on there again there. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, okie dokie. There's somebody way out there trying to get in there, so I'm going to stand by. Is that one, two, three? Who is it? I can hear him out there. I just can't make it out. Yeah, I got a copy. I can't hear him either. Could you hear him? Yeah, I could hear him. I just couldn't make it out either. 410. They maybe can hear you. I, I think he said when you asked, he said something like, don't mind me or something, and then it just started going out. Oh, okay. One time, um, a uh, Swamp Fox was, was in there, and he's up in Fairfax, South Carolina. I don't know if that might have been him or not. Have a good one, man. There, uh, a, uh, a wizard and uh, Georgia being out here, man. I look forward to it every weekend. Roger, well, you got to get you one up in a tree there. I do like uh, Night Ranger. Take a uh, bow and arrow and uh, tie a string on the end of the arrow and shoot it up in the tree, and then pull a wire up in there, and then pull your uh, J pole that you can see how he made on YouTube up in there. That's what he talks on. Yeah, I was talking to 55 over on uh, the 17th side of Waterford. About several uh, antennas that he's about he's messing with. And about five out, so I'm going to put it myself. 10-4. All right, Dan, will you take it easy, then? Roger. I hear you one six five. Stand by and let um, the antenna sailor get in there. All right, I'm back out.
That's about it. Well, make some love to the forest, Ambo. You have to marry it. I'm already married to it. Since yesterday. Well, like I said, I noticed a big difference on you on it. Uh, right off the river. You came out here tonight and made that thing sounding good, man. Better than normal, I'll tell you that. Thank you. 
Sounds good like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's hey, one six five. I'm gonna I'm gonna imitate his key up. Hang on. There you go. Okay. Okay. Trying to copy him. Okay. Hey, twenty one, you gotta stand in the middle of the room. Maybe if I turn it around that way. No, turn it back. Oh, okay. Titillate them, that's all. It's all in parts, man. Parts, parts, parts. CB constantly buying. Money, money, money. Yeah. 
Well, one thing about this thing not working on that on that uh, rotor, it, uh, it might be better for me just to get that tail twister back on there. Because that ham four, I don't know, ham five, whatever it is, might not be what I need. So it might be better to do it. That It's something that I needed to do anyway. But I'll get it, I'll lay it down and change that out. I was going to turn it to day there 45, but I wired it up to two different control boxes and I had Sense Jones connectors on the wire where I could unplug the rotor from the cable going to the tower and soldered all that together and I said well maybe that's not right <clears throat> and I traced it all out, owned it all out and, and and put it on another box, another control box and then I cut the daggum connector off and wired it straight <clears throat> and it don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have checked it, but I didn't think that was going to be an issue. But uh, when it when it hit the ground there, when that big bolt popped there and that thing hit the ground, it didn't hurt the tower or anything. It just all the stress was on that antenna that I had on there, and it uh, put it all on that rotor. Although I had a thrust bearing on the top of the tower, but uh, the rotor, you know. I need to have another, uh, like a pipe inside, and I might do that, where it, the rotor uh, pipe goes, the mass pipe goes through that pipe to where it can't go sideways, you know, and and uh, and try to twist that rotor uh, out of out of sync there. That's what I might do. I might do it, but uh, anyway, it's okay. It's okay. It's up there anyway. If somebody gets in front of it, I can talk to them. Just nobody lives that way, or no no states must be there yet. Maybe they'll move over in that direction. Yeah, there you go. You gotta get them to move over. Yeah, you actually gotta tell them they need to move over some. Yeah, so look here. Uh, hey, uh, Florida, drag on over a little bit, man. Yeah, that's right. I'll just stay keyed down and I'll eventually get them. I should have bought that rotor and stuff that uh, Reverend Doctor Big Mo had, but I didn't. Didn't uh, I didn't need another tower, man? I don't need any more towers. I mean, you know, and didn't really need. I got two rotors. Didn't need any rotors, and I can't use uh, a hazer because uh, you got, you know, you, you got uh, cables. I got three sets of three cables going on on the one I'm using now. The other one, I don't, it's a freestanding tower, big run BX tower, but it's, you know, I built that hinge plate on the bottom. I can't use a hazer on that, so that would have been something I'd had to deal with, so I, I you know, I didn't do it. But anyway, it was a good deal for what he wanted for it. Couldn't hardly buy the rotor for that. Ten four, okay. Well, I hadn't uh, really cranked up nothing there. Just a little tiny something on this old Johnson Messenger 250. I hadn't put the big Johnson on you yet. I hear you. I don't know if I want your Johnson on me or not there, Bo, but uh, like I said, the premium on this thing is just magnificent. I can't wait. 